Let's start with the president's big foreign policy speech today. He teed up a bit of it yesterday when he announced he's going to start drawing down troops in Afghanistan, leaving a modest amount there for another year after this year when he says the combat mission is. But listen to the president here essentially laying out to the American people, yes, we have goals in Afghanistan, but let's be realistic. We have to recognize Afghanistan will not be a perfect place. And it is not America's responsibility to make it one. That last part, Juliana, it is not America's responsibility to make it one. Is that sort of the tone of this speech? The president wants to say we will be active, we will be interventionist when necessary, but let's set realistic expectations? Yeah, that's right. And to explain how he sees the U.S. reorienting itself away from the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan and more toward a, a counterterrorism policy that's focused on partnerships around the world, funding these kinds of partnerships. So he'll be announcing, he'll be calling on Congress uh, to fund a counterterrorism uh, reserve fund, essentially, to help train and equip those kinds of missions. But look, they know that they have not done uh, a good job explaining the role of U.S. leadership around the world over the last year, eight months. And so kind of think of this speech as everything that the president has been trying to say over the last year and actually hasn't been able to because of the distractions from Edward Snowden from Ukraine from Syria uh, and so this is meant to reset that narrative he was in Afghanistan over the weekend announced the troop levels he's going to be going to Europe uh, next week as well to continue this messaging and there's been a lot of criticism Jackie of the president's foreign policy and the White House pushback often is well most of those critics say well then you know use troops or some military force or, or send military equipment into Syria uh, do it here do it there their thing is their argument has been that was done in the Bush years or that's unrealistic uh, can the president sell that approach I don't know with some of his critics if he's ever going to be able to sell an approach. I mean, there's a group of Republicans, particularly in the Senate, where the president is never going to be able to convince them. Never going to be able to convince <laughs> them. We'll see if the president mentions at all the VA scandal. This is a foreign policy speech, but we'll see if it comes up in any way because he's standing there at West Point with the young cadets today.